Nissan plans to unveil several concepts at the upcoming Tokyo Motor Show, but perhaps the most surprising of those will be the electric Leaf Nismo concept. This will see the world's best-selling electric car receiving the Nismo treatment, with exterior design highlights, a revised suspension, and a retuned computer for improved performance. The Leaf Nismo concept's exterior was custom designed by Nismo, Nissan's in-house tuning division and motorsports arm. Aerodynamics and racing-inspired performance enhancements to the Leaf's bodywork will create less lift while retaining the Leaf's drag coefficient for fuel efficiency. Onlookers will note the improved front air dam and approach, revised side sails, and diffusers at the rear. Above, the gap between tires and wheel wells appears to be thinner and the upper body receives a modified spoiler at the rear and a slightly heavier appearing bumper guard at rear. Underneath the new bodywork, Nismo engineers retooled the Leaf suspension for a more sport-tuned drive and added high-performance tires to the wheels. A custom-tuned computer for better acceleration and muscle are also included, Nissan says. The Tokyo Motor Show begins October 25th and runs through November 5, 2017. Nissan will also have a Serena Nismo minivan for the Japanese market and a newly updated Skyline, Infiniti Q50 elsewhere, model, also for the Japanese market, on display at the show. This story about the cost of replacement battery for a Nissan Leaf was first published by Gas2. When modern electric cars first appeared on the scene circa 2010, lots of people asked, how much does it cost to replace the battery? Nissan has given a definitive answer to that question, but not many people are aware of this. If you own a 2011 to 2015 Nissan Leaf, replacing the battery will cost you exactly $5,499, plus installation, which the company estimates will take about 3 hours. Owners of 2011 and 2012 cars must also add $225 for a special adapter kit to retrofit the new battery to their cars. Hey, that's not too bad, is it? After all, take your Belch Fire 5000 to your local dealer and ask them how much it will cost to replace the internal combustion engine if it throws a rod and pukes oil all over itself. You would be lucky to get a new engine for a paltry $5,500. There are a couple of stipulations you should be aware of. First, you must own the car that is having the battery replaced. Second, if you have a loan outstanding on the car, you will need to get the lender's approval for the swap. Third, the original battery goes back to Nissan for recycling or use in a grid storage system. You can keep it and use it as a coffee table in your living room. Nissan assigns the old battery a value of $1,000. You can finance the purchase of the new battery through Nissan if you wish. The company says to figure on a monthly payment of around $100. Once the new battery is paid for, you own it. It is not a lease or a rental arrangement. The replacement battery will have the benefit of all the latest improvements, including cooling upgrades. The new battery is what Nissan calls its lizard battery, meaning it is not as susceptible to early degradation if used in a hot climate. The warranty on the new battery is the same as it is in a brand new Leaf, 8 years slash 100,000 miles against defects and 5 years slash 60,000 miles against capacity loss. These replacement batteries are the same battery found in 2015 Leaf vehicles, which are also on sale now at Nissan dealers. As a replacement, this battery is expected to provide similar range and charging characteristics as the battery offered since the launch of the LEAF in 2010, Nissan says. The all-electric Nissan LEAF isn't the model that typically comes to mind when the conversation turns to hot hatches. That could change later this month, however, when a new concept named Nissan LEAF Nismo breaks cover at the biennial Tokyo Auto Show. The Nismo stands out from the garden variety Leaf with a much sportier design. It's like an electric car in track shoes. It receives a concept-specific body kit with red accents, 
a deeper front bumper that mimics air dams without incorporating them because they're not needed, and a black stripe on the hood that matches the roof panel. Walk to the back of the car and you'll find a roof-mounted spoiler, plus an air diffuser integrated into the rear bumper. Multi-spoke alloy wheels add a finishing touch to the design. The visual upgrades continue inside, where Nissan has added sports seats for the front passengers, a flat-bottom steering wheel with a 12 o'clock mark, and more red accents for good measure. It's not all about looks, though. Nissan promises the Leaf Nismo is truly exciting to drive. The list of handling enhancing modifications includes a sport-tuned suspension which lowers the ride height, high-performance tires, and a reprogrammed ECU that helps the electric motor deliver instant acceleration at all speeds. More specific performance details haven't been published, so we don't know what else Nissan has up its sleeve or what effect the body kit has on range. The brand new second generation LEAF uses an electric motor rated at 147 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. Those are generous increases of 40 horses and 49 pound-feet over the outgoing model, but there is still room for improvement, especially since the LEAF gained 100 pounds in its transition from a first to a second generation model. A car the size and weight of the LEAF would need at least 250 horsepower to be considered a true hot hatch. Let's hope Nissan's Nismo team hasn't forgotten about that aspect of building a sports car. We're a little bit skeptical. The Sentra Nismo didn't receive a bump in power. The LEAF Nismo won't shine on its own at the Tokyo show. Nissan will also introduce a Nismo Tune Zirina, a tall. Odd-looking minivan sold only in overseas markets, and an updated version of the Skyline. Showgoers who attend the Big Tokyo gathering at the end of the month will get to check out no less than 13 Nissan vehicles. The first edition of the new Nissan LEAF will go on sale today and cost £26,490, as revealed at its first appearance in Europe. Called the LEAF 2.0. The limited edition version of the all-electric hatchback is kitted out with semi-autonomous functions including the ability to park itself. The price tag of £26,490 is specifically for this model, including the government grant, but Nissan will no longer be renting out batteries on top of this cost. It was unveiled at the Nissan Futures 3.0 event in Oslo. The first time the EV or its ProPilot functionality has made an appearance in Europe. It debuted alongside the new longer-range ENV 200 van and home charging systems, all of which Nissan believes will get more drivers behind the wheel of an electric vehicle. ProPilot, the name Nissan gives its autonomous system, will enable lane keep assist, intelligent cruise control and traffic jam assist all at the push of a button. This will be an optional extra, fitted as standard on top spec models. Nissan LEAF product specialist for Europe Francesco Giacoloni told the Press Association, We have big expectations and the car represents a massive improvement for all technology in the car and from a design perspective, so we're now moving to a more mainstream design. I think some customers for the old LEAP were more reluctant to take the car because of some polarizing in the design. They will not have these objections anymore, therefore we can grow much faster and appeal to a broader population than we have done so far. The Nissan LEAF also gets the addition of the e-pedal for the first time. This uses regenerative braking when the accelerator is released, meaning most drivers will rarely use the brake pedal and will cover short journeys using minimal battery power. Nissan is set to unveil some new concept cars at the Tokyo Motor Show that could someday make it into production. The new cars are NISMO versions of the Leaf EV and the Serena minivan. The LEAF NISMO concept will feature the latest version of ProPilot single-lane autonomous driving tech. That tech allows the car to park itself automatically with full control over accelerator, brakes, steering, shift changing, and parking brake. 
The car also has e-pedal like the standard Leaf that allows drivers to come to a complete stop using only the brake pedal. Nissan says that the Leaf NISMO concept has a sporty NISMO exterior with parts that help enhance aerodynamic performance and reduce lift. The interior is black with red accents. The concept also gets a sport-tuned suspension and high-performance tires along with a custom-tuned computer to improve acceleration. We've driven the 2018 LEAF, and for more details check out that story. The Serena NISMO minivan concept is fitted with an updated exterior to make it look sportier featuring custom aero parts. The interior gets the signature NISMO red stitching as well. There are no images of either concept car at this time. The refreshed skyline will also be sewn off in Tokyo. The car gets a revamped exterior, new aluminum wheel designs, and more. The car has a new steering wheel and shift knob inside and a new instrument panel surface finish. The refreshed skyline will land at dealers in Japan in December 2017.